Let's take a look at how to use Adobe Bridge to create a web gallery to present your work to clients or a potential boss. So I have all of my images loaded here inside of Bridge. Click on the web gallery in the output panel. By the way, if you can't see your output panel, go up to this little triangle here, then come down and check output. Okay, so template, you've got a couple of choices here. You can have a little strip on the left, a regular film strip, journal with film strip, etc, 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 all the way down. So let's choose, let's choose slideshow. Let me try that one more time. There we go. Slideshow. Okay, let's add some information. Put your name in there. Use your email address. Copyright info. This we're going to say all rights reserved. Copyright 2013. Okay. Color palette. This has a little bit of information about what's going to happen when you do when you look at the actual presentation. Here, notice that there's a, um, a setting for hover over the menu. So, as you know from your HTML classes, whenever you hover over a link, typically it will either change color or it will animate in some way to let people know that this is clickable. I'm going to play with this here really quick. I'm going to make it red, and we'll see how that turns out when we do our final publishing. You can change any of the colors you, you would like. You can change the background from a black you can, for the main part or the slideshow. Whatever you choose is just fine. Go down to Appearance. I do want it to show the file names. Okay, slideshow size, that looks pretty good. Gallery image size, that also looks good. Thumbnails, that's pretty small, so I'm going to bump that up just a bit. Let's make that about 50 pixels. Quality is just fine. Slide duration, that's fine at five seconds. Transition effects, you can do, if you've had any kind of a video experience before, you know what these types of transitions are. I'm going to leave this set as a fade. So one image will fade out and then the next image will fade in. Okay, let's go down a little lower here, see the rest of our options. It says create gallery. Let's change the gallery name and we're going to make this Rosemary Barker, insert your name please, <laughs> Rosemary Barker Portfolio. Save location. I'm going to put this right on my desktop. I already created a folder called web underscore gallery. So we're going to leave that right there. Put it just inside. Now what's kind of cool and this is a relatively new feature, is that you can upload this directly to your own personal website. So you just have to input the FTP server, the username, the password, and tell it what folder you want to put it in, and you'll just automatically save yourself a step. You don't have to do it through Dreamweaver or your other FTP client program. You can do it right here inside a bridge. It's kind of nice when things save you a step. Okay, that looks great. I'm going to click Save. And then we're going to go take a look at our web gallery. Okay, here I go. It'll take a little bit here to load. There we go. I'm just clicking through this just to see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Now, if you ever want to experiment with the features, you know, you can always go back in there and do that. That's not a problem. Let's see. Let's make this a little easier. Let me go back up here. 
And I wanted to talk to you about this particular button before I forget, Preview in Browser. So when you make some changes, you can come back here, Preview in Browser, it'll open up your browser and show you what you're going to be looking at. Okay, I'm going to change this from Slideshow, let's put it back to Standard. And let's make that, yeah, that's a good style for the thumbnail. Now let's choose, I'm going to save this guy one more time, overwrite, and then I'm going to preview it in the browser. It's going to open up Chrome again for me. There we go. I, and I think I do like having these thumbnails over here to the left a little bit better. Now, if you wanted to, you could go to a full screen mode, which is right down here at the bottom. And I'm, I'm not going to wait for this thing to play. <laughs> I'm just going to advance, 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 just to check. Then I'm going to go back to my thumbnails. And I'm looking at this bright red and that is not my favorite. So in order to change that, I'm hovering over the thumbnails. Let me drag this down a little bit and show you where to change that. Oh, here it is right here. Under color palette, thumbnail color, see that bright red? I'm gonna make that just a little darker because that highly saturated red is just a little glaring to me. Okay, that's better. Save it. Okay. That is how easy it is to make a web gallery inside of Adobe Bridge. I hope you enjoyed seeing this short little demo. Play around with it. I think you'll like it. See you in the next video.